Landon McCarter with Secure Agent Marketing. In my last video I did on how to sort of use your personal social media profile, in my opinion, to um, uh, cho potentially get meetings and, and let your clients behind the curtain of who you are as a person, um, feel free to go back and watch that video on how to use your personal page. What this video is going to be focused on is how to use your business page. Now, this is Landon McCarter's opinion. This is not like, you know, backed by research. I, I could probably go pull that if, if fine I may one day to try and figure this out from a data point standpoint. But I just deal with this stuff all day long and so I feel like I have an okay opinion on it. So I just wanted to kind of have an opinion piece on how you should use your, your business page as opposed to your uh, personal page. So first off, should you have a business page? Yeah, you need a business page, especially if you're gonna have any sort of budget, ad budget towards your um, uh, your brand, you're gonna have to have a personal page typically to anchor that budget to, and your ads manager is gonna be tied to that business page, etc. So you can't spend money through your personal page. Um, you have to have a business page to do so. So one of the things I think your business page is really good for is reviews. I think reviews is a good place to have customer reviews um, live there because there's a lot of cool website plugins you can use to pull in those reviews from your Facebook page onto your website. So I think your Facebook reviews and your rating on your Facebook is really important um, and valuable. Now, what I do want to let you off the hook on is your business page posting. Like, So for instance, the larger brand that you are, the more important it is to have an engagement on your business page as opposed to your personal brand. So I'm really kind of kind of separate audiences into really two main sections. If you're an individual producer with a small team and you're trying to build LandonMcCarter.com or CodyAskins.com or whatever.com, um, well, Cody Askins was a bad example because that's a business page. But if you're trying, if you're an individual producer that's trying to grow your personal brand, then I would I already did shot a video on that. I would focus on your personal page and have your business page be your source of reviews, some potential content that is really just once a week, schedule that out, spend an hour a, a month, you know, scheduling out some postings, look at the holidays for the month and maybe schedule out your post for that. Um, different um, holidays, Memorial Day, etc. cetera. Um, one of the guys that I really think has a powerful social media presence is Ramiz Hakim. If you go look at him, I think he uses his personal page for that. Also, not Northstar. Um, but anyways, what you can tell is, is he specifically thinks through what he's going to post throughout that month and then takes some time to actually have meaningful posts. And he actually posts that on North Star along with his personal page, but that is a, a good way to look at it. So I would recommend, you know, postings, you know, funny memes that are relevant to your audience and also um, just engaging in productive sort of conversation business-wise because you're... Your business page is where you have full reign to do whatever you want to do um, from a promoting yourself, selling, etc. I would try to keep your promotion of yourself 50% of it and I would try to keep um, you know, actual client stories and testimonials and videos and have your clients shoot a video on your business page and then use your personal page to share that from your business page. There's ways that you can have synergies between the two. Um, but one of the things that I wanna try to communicate is that Facebook, if it's a business page, Facebook is going to automatically throttle your reach of your likes because they want you to pay to, you have to actually, just because you had a thousand people like your business page, doesn't mean that every time you post a thousand people are going to see that. You can go into your audience insights and look at those numbers if you want and you will find that, okay, well if I have a thousand audiences or audience members and I make 10 posts this week, that means 10,000 people or 10,000 impressions are going to come through my business page. Not even close. So you'll realize very quickly that Facebook's algorithm is optimized to show um, content to those that are engaging with your content. Okay, So if you get more engagement on your personal page than you do your business page, you're going to have more impressions, more views, more impact on your personal page. Also, people have their guard down a little bit on who you are as a person on your personal page and they're listening and they're paying attention as long as you're not promoting and selling all the time over here it's good but your business page really is built to kind of be the voice of your business the personality of your business i explained your facebook um, if you go look at security Agent marketing's facebook page you won't see a super active um, you know audience over there um, i'm not heavily invested in growing security Agent marketing's facebook page right now um, because we do so much advertising that we get all the leads that we need whether it's through my personal page or paid platform through my business page, I'm not 
typically doing much organic posting on secure agent marketing over there. Not because I don't believe in it, not because I should be, I probably should have more focus on that, but I feel like um, from a lead development standpoint, I'm getting paid leads uh, through paid means. I'm getting a lot of leads through my personal page and our business page. I've never really had a lot of engagement or paid, I'm sorry, leads that have come through that, that business page. Not to say that you can't do it and there's probably social media managers out there that are like going, oh my gosh, what is this guy talking about? Look, I've done millions of dollars of social media marketing, organic, paid, etc. And I'm telling you, you either get leads from the paid section, you get leads from your personal section and your business section typically isn't where you're getting your engagement from um, in general, unless you're putting a huge focus on that and then it takes six months to build that thing up and you're putting most of your focus on that instead of paid instead of your personal page, which is totally cool. You just need to choose one and go down that road. But if you, if you put like 50 bucks into uh, Facebook, you would reach 10 times the people you would reach if you spent 10 hours making social media posts on your business page. So that's why I've always sort of lend my budget toward just putting budget in my paid section as opposed to running really effective, meaningful strategies on my social media um, that's organic just because I can just get further with, with a paid budget than I can with, with my organic. Now, good grief, there's experts out there that would totally disagree with me and that's totally fine and they're entitled to do that. So I'm not trying to say that I'm the expert and the voice, I'm just trying to give you my perspective on the industry because this is one thing that I do feel very confident that I have a good you know ear on the ground of knowing kind of what people are doing what people aren't doing it's been a, a common theme of questions so I hope I was able to add value to this chat if you notice this was an informal conversation as opposed to a whiteboard video where I've got all this data and statistics maybe one day I'll pull together some research and um, I bet you you would find that those that are more active on social media have a high tendency to keep business on the books uh, because all of a sudden I'm in front of you weekly, monthly, whatever, um, and showing you that I'm working hard, showing you who I am as a person, and showing you that I'm still in the industry. You know, I bet you there's a lot of insurance salesmen that have turned over and aren't even doing insurance salesmen that are still getting residuals, you know, from their book of business, but they aren't even focused on there. And those that business is going to bleed out to those that are active. So that's, in my opinion, how you should use social media. Mm -hmm.